worry if your light sensitive circuit is not working. In this video, we will look at how to debug the circuit. Even if your circuit is already working, this video will be resourceful as we will be learning how to use a DMM to test the circuit. You might have made one of the following mistakes if you are using the breadboard for the first time. Incorrect connections. Recheck all the wiring. Look at the circuit diagram again and make sure that all the connections made on the breadboard are right. See that you have used only one half of the breadboard. If not, use a wire to connect the power grids on both the halves. Some potentiometers don't fit into the breadboard properly, so make sure it's tightly fit into the grooves. Also see that the potentiometer is set to the appropriate threshold voltage, if not turn the knob. Another common mistake is that the LED is connected in reverse, so check that out. Also make sure that you have connected the integrated circuit in the right direction. If your circuit is still not working, it's because one of the components in your circuit is malfunctioning. In this case, you have to use a DMM to debug the circuit. Let us test the continuity of the circuit to make sure that there are no broken wires. What is extremely important here is that you should not connect the power supply now. Do not connect the power supply when you're looking to test the continuity of the circuit. Turn the DMM into continuity mode. Make sure that when both the terminals touch, a beep sound is generated. And now if you touch the second pin of the potentiometer to the third pin of the IC, you get a beep sound which shows that the wire connecting these both is not broken. Similarly, test one end of the LDR to the second pin of the IC. Then make sure that the ground connection is fine. You can test the same at different points on the circuit to make sure that there are no broken wires. Now let us check if each component in the circuit is working fine. Turn the DMM into 20V DC mode. You can connect the battery to your circuit now. Check the power supply voltage by connecting the DMM across the first two pins of 7805. It's ok to connect the DMM terminals in the opposite direction because you just get a negative sign for voltage. Be extremely careful not to short any two pins of 7805 using the DMM pins. If you get around 9 volts, then the battery is working fine. Then see if 7805 is providing an output voltage of 5 volts by connecting it across the second and third pins. If yes, there is no problem with 7805. If there is a problem, you have to replace 7805. While replacing any components, make sure that your power supply is turned off. Now, connect your multimeter's terminals across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. The DMM will show some voltage. This voltage should decrease if you cover the LDR surface with your finger. If the voltage change is significant like 1 or 2 volts, then, the then this part of the circuit is fine. If the voltage change is less, it be it's because you haven't chosen the right value of the resistor. If there is no voltage change, the LDR is not working. Now connect the black terminal of the DMM to ground and the red terminal to the second pin of the potentiometer. If a voltage between 0 and 5 volts is shown, your potentiometer is working just fine. Make sure that this voltage is a little more than the voltage across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor in darkness. If not, change the threshold of the potentiometer by turning its knob. Well, you could test the same at the second and third pins of the 741 IC and the results would be exactly same. And again, it's important that you don't short out any terminals of the IC using the DMM's cables. Now, you can use the DMM to check the voltage at any pin of this IC. Just make sure that you connect the black cable to the ground and keep uh, the red cable at any one pin of the IC that you want to test. Now, let us connect the red cable to the sixth pin of the IC and see how the output varies. Cool! Now you also know how to debug electronic circuits.